As a second vaping related death is confirmed here in Massachusetts, local health officials say they are seeing an increase in patients who are concerned they might have a vaping related illness. Yeah, but with flu and vaping related symptoms being so similar, it's becoming more challenging for healthcare providers to treat patients. Western Mass News reporter Alyssa McCann digs deeper into what health providers are now seeing. Flu season is here, bringing on coughs, fevers, headaches, and much more. And those symptoms are also the same as vaping-related illnesses, making it harder to treat exactly what you have. Pretty much anything that you're putting into your body is 100% going to affect your immune system, so you should assume that if you're putting a carcinogen or a toxin into your body, that you are going to have some adverse effects. Physician assistant Jessica Batch Elder with AFC right. Urgent Care in Springfield tells Western Mass News She's seeing an increase in patients because many are fearful they might have the flu or a vaping-related illness. This year, maybe 30 to 40 who come in thinking that they have flu symptoms, and I actually have not diagnosed one positive flu yet. While that is great news so far, the bigger issue is these symptoms could be related to vaping, but it's still hard to tell at urgent care facilities. We have patients come in and they have changes on their x-rays that we can see, and sometimes they have some consolidation that are, you know, potential for masses and stuff like that, or they're just having decreased lung function overall. But being in urgent care, you know, we really don't get that feedback from pulmonologists. AFC Urgent Care says there are some differences between the flu and vaping-related illnesses. And it's not just about detection, it's about treatment. It's not necessarily going to be difficult to differentiate. We're really probably just going to have to increase who we swab for the flu, and then if the flu comes back negative, kind of explore other options that could be causing these the, the symptoms that they're having. So really, it just needs, all providers need to be mindful. With it being the flu season and the weather getting colder, now healthcare providers are being more cautious when they diagnose their patients. Batch Elder says your sickness could be a combination of the flu and vaping-related illnesses. And when you have the flu, it increases your risk for a secondary pneumonia, so vapors and smokers need to be careful. Last year I had a lot of patients that would come in and, you know, they would have the flu, positive flu, but they would be having all of this coughing and congestion, whether they vape or whether they smoke tobacco products, um, and they would have a secondary pneumonia. In Springfield, Alyssa McCann, Western Mass News.